Hey everyone, guess what? I'm back in Owens County, back from Costa Rica, and that means it's Saturday, so it's time for the dot-com lunch. Unusual because, you know, as of yesterday, we only had like five RSVP, and look how many people showed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we have a baker's dozen showing up. And, you know, we have a, we have a running rule. We have a running rule that if you, are, if, you don't, if you show up and you don't RSVP, you pay for lunch. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Kaveh Roshan and I am a financial engineer and my website name is financial.engineering and over there you can learn about algorithms and stock market trading. This is Bob Vogel. Uh, I just returned from Costa Rica. There was a titanium mastermind event down there. It was absolutely unbelievable. Met people from all over the world, all walks of life. Uh, the nice part is that all of the people in our group have the same mindset. Uh, we're all out to make ourselves better, uh, create a lifestyle that we've always dreamed of. Uh, this program gives you the opportunity to do that. And I, I think the best part of the program uh, are the mentors and the teachers. Um, when we're down there, we are being taught for, with, uh, by people that are very successful in online marketing. Uh, some of them are seven figures. Uh, I mean, can you imagine being able to join people and have dinner and lunch and learn along someone that has made seven figures in this industry. Uh, it's unbelievable. So I'm back here, uh, I'm actually uh, with John Chow. Uh, he has a meetup here in Irvine, California. And uh, there were about uh, 12, 13 people that showed up here today. Uh, again, it's, it's all people with the same mindset uh, looking to live a phenomenal life uh, making money online. Uh, great company if you uh, if you like people, uh, if you like marketing, you like the internet, maybe you're already using it, it's it's a great opportunity. A couple of days ago I was invited by Sally's uh, head of school to go to a reception for parents and it was at the head of school's residence it wasn't at the school, right? So my wife and I, we drove down there, and and we see when we went to the residence, not the house, see the residence of the head of school, and uh, he set up valet parking, right? So we actually went to the front of his house. There was valet parking there, and they they took my car, and then right at the entrance of his house was a guy playing bagpipes, a Scottish. Yeah, he was playing bagpipes. You know, the bagpipes, and go in there. We met we met Mr. Mosley, the head of school. He welcomed us. And we met some of the other parents and uh, in this big 6,000 square foot house. It's like a one acre with a beautiful view. And I'm wondering, I've never seen a school principal live in a house like this in my life. <laughs> so I'm wondering, you know, what's my $30,000 tuition going to here? But then I realized that, you know, he's been the head of school for 17 years. So obviously he bought this house like over a decade ago when it didn't cost millions of dollars. So I, I that was the, but interesting. But the cool thing is I did get to meet other parents. And you know what? One of the reasons I put Sally into this school, uh, not only because it's a good school, uh, but the bottom line is, he, eventually it won't be pay off for me because every other parents there have at least one child going to the school, and tuition is thirty thousand dollars a year. I met one parent; he had, she had four child at the school. That's a hundred and twenty thousand years just in tuition alone. Yeah. So, yeah, as you can imagine, this is a very, very successful group of parents, successful group of people. And I can tell you right now, just from meeting some of the parents, uh, the thirty grand I'm paying for Saturday to go to the school will be, will have no problem making that back. Uh, as a group, uh, as a group, they're not only. I think I found out in common about the group. A quarter of them, at least that's about more than that. I would say one third to forty percent. Whatever Drive a Tesla. In, actually, you got to be careful yeah. because if you use the credit card, it was, expenses, it was like a roll of Tesla park. It was hilarious. It was like, yeah. I, so there you go. Now, now you know that uh, in California, the prestige vehicle is a Tesla. <laughs> That's what I got from it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Whispering Ghosts. I guess that's why I have one. All right, there we go.